This is DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. It has two polynucleotide strands that are connected by hydrogen bonds of complementary base pairs. Adenine pairs with thymine and guanine pairs with cytosine. The subunits of DNA are formed of a pentose sugar deoxyribose, a base, either A, T, C or G, and a phosphate. RNA, ribonucleic acid, is similar to DNA, but it is single-stranded rather than double-stranded. The subunits of RNA are made up of a pentose sugar called ribose, a phosphate, and a base. The bases of RNA are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. Uracil replaces thymine in RNA. In terms of protein synthesis, there are two types of important RNA mRNA and tRNA. Messenger RNA transfers the DNA code from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. mRNA is small and can leave the nucleus through the pores where it associates with the ribosomes. The code it contains is used to determine amino acid sequence which leads to protein synthesis. mRNA is easily broken down so it is only there when a protein is required to be made. The sequence of bases on mRNA is called the genetic code. This code is complementary to the DNA code since it is derived from it. The mRNA and DNA codes are not identical. Every three bases in the sequence is called a codon, and it codes for one amino acid. The code is degenerate. This means that amino acids can have more than one codon. For example, the amino acid leucine has six different codons. Sometimes three bases can code for a stop codon. This marks the end of a polypeptide chain. The code is universal. The same codon codes for the same amino acid in every organism. The code does not overlap. Each base is only read once. The other type of RNA in this example is transfer RNA. It is a single stranded chain but is folded into a clover leaf shape. The extended part of the chain at the top is where amino acids attach. Each amino acid has its own complementary tRNA molecule. On the opposite end, there are three organic bases known as the anticodon. In protein synthesis, the anticodon pairs with the three complementary bases, the codon, of mRNA. To summarise, DNA is a double-stranded molecule, while M and tRNA are single-stranded molecules. DNA forms a double helix, mRNA is a single helix, and tRNA forms a clover leaf shape. DNA has a pentose sugar called deoxyribose, while RNA molecules have ribose. Uracil replaces thymine in RNA. DNA is located inside the nucleus, whilst M and tRNA are found throughout the cell. Due to its double helix, DNA is very stable. mRNA is unstable, and tRNA is less stable than DNA, but more stable than mRNA. DNA and tRNA have hydrogen bonds, but mRNA doesn't.